Kurt Russell considers himself lucky to have found love with someone like Goldie Hawn even after 40 years together. The hateful aid actor, 72, gushed over the 78-year-old Oscar winner, sharing the secret to their lasting romance when asked during a recent interview with Esquire. If you're lucky enough to get with Goldie Hawn, it's just how long she can put up with you, he said with a huge smile. Talk about the whole package, he continued. Goldie's what you think she is. Women adore her. Men love her. And if you don't, there's something wrong with you. The couple, whose only child, Sun White, just welcomed his second child, has truly defied Hollywood odds with their years-long relationship. The lovebirds initially crossed paths on the set of the 1968 film The One and Only, genuine, original family band when she was 21 and he was just 16. However, it wasn't until they reunited for the filming of Swing Shift in 1983 that they decided to embark on a romance, a move that could have easily gone awry. I was severely hungover, Kurt told Conan O'Brien about the first time he asked Goldie on a date. I just didn't have in my mind what I was going to see. She had a great body, and so the first that came out was, man, you've got a great figure. It kind of came out quickly, and it could have been wrong. And she said, why, thank you. Goldie gushed about their initial romance as well, telling Ellen DeGeneres in 2020, I remember about Kurt, not only being really sexy and handsome and all that stuff, and fun, a good co-star. I love the way he looked at my children. It was really something special and that was dot 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 he's good with kids. And I kind of went, oh my god, this is amazing. During a July 2023 interview with CNN's Chris Wallace, Goldie provided an explanation for why she has never married Kurt. When it doesn't work out, it ends up to be big business, she began. It's always ugly. Somebody actually has to take a look and say, how many divorces actually are fun? How many divorces actually don't cost money? How many divorces actually make you hate the person more than you did before? How many divorces have hurt children? Back in 2020, the couple talked to people during a joint interview and opened up about not feeling the need to get married. For people like us, the marriage certificate wasn't going to create anything that otherwise we wouldn't have, Kurt explained to the outlet. Hahn later added, it's not about the marriage. It's about the people in the relationship and the will to stay together. And that's a big one because if you want it, you can have it. You've got to give things up. But the joy and the excitement of being together and touching the toes of somebody at night is really a nice feeling, she continued. It's about compatibility and communication. And you both need to want it to work, she told Porter Magazine in 2015. If one person does not want it to work, it isn't going to work. Intention is the key. It's also about.